Hello everybody. I'm going to wait and see if people come in. It's 740 so I'm going live. I'm now live. So cool. Um, so I'm going to go over to Twitter and let people know we're now live. I'm sorry for the the crappy like video but apparently my first hiccup for this was I either have crappy video or crappy sound. So I've always been told get good sound. So that's what I'm doing. So here we go. I'm going to go over to Twitter right quick. We are live. See if I can figure out how to share this thing. It's crazy. Um, anyways, so one of the things I wanted to talk about was basically this article I actually read last year, but I haven't really said anything yet because it was like I wasn't really sure how to do it. So basically, the whole premise of the thing, right, is that you can only travel if you have money and I, I I agree but I disagree too and I'll get into it here in just a second so let me see if I can figure out how to link this out <laughs> I know what I'll do I know what I'll do let's see here yeah I'll just do it Yes, okay, so that'll work. And I'm sorry for this. Like I said, I'm this is my first time doing this, so it's sort of like my first time trying to figure out the logistics of how to do it. <laughs> so there we go. So I am watching my Twitter as well as I put this out on Twitter and I also put it out on something else. So basically what I wanted to talk about is this article written by Shane Ferguson it's a girl so I'm not really sure how to say that but basically her thing is this that you know if you don't come from money the idea of travel rarely ever crosses your mind so of course I disagree with that immediately um, I do not come from money alright and we always try we always went somewhere um, if it wasn't just going riding around town exploring the town to see what's in it then it was just going someplace else we were always going 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 I have to admit as a kid I didn't really like that as much however once I hit about 30s it seems like our family has this gene where <laughs> we we have to go we have to travel so it drives me crazy to not do it um, at the same time I can understand that if you are busy 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 working and you're just busy trying to get that nine to five done and you don't you know you're not thinking about anything else but at the same time you have to have goals and dreams and things like that and I always like I said as a kid I didn't really like moving around too much because you know I'm an introvert so it's hard for me to make friends and I sometimes I don't want to but basically it's hard for me to make friends so once I make them I kinda wanna try and stick around them or at least you know orbiting mm, excuse me so it seems like every time I make friends we move and then that was irritating so basically that's sort of the way it just worked um, I don't really have like but I always enjoyed the traveling so the traveling was the was the point right so that's pretty much all I wanted to say about that even if you let's say you're working your nine to five and that's all you have or you're working two jobs that's all you have but travel is something you want to do keep it alive by just thinking about the places you want to go where would you want to go if you could go anywhere where would you want to go and keep that travel bug alive by doing that while you don't have the money to go do your research there's lots of people who have been where you've gone they make videos about it and you can find out you know exactly what you want to do so for example um, my husband wants to go to Hawaii so right now I'm doing my research we don't have the money to go there yet but we're saving and we're doing the research where exactly would do we want to go do they have tours where we want to go all of this stuff is important if you're going to travel and you're going to budget your travel so I just think that's important. I think that people saying, uh, well, if you don't have money, you don't think about it is not true, one. And two, 
I don't think it's anything that should stop you. I think you should think about it, and I think you should put it down on your wish list for your life. So the second one, right, is traveling on a budget doesn't always cut it. So on, on this, my response to her is, it does always cut it. I think it's the only way to do it. Because, basically, otherwise you get in debt, right? So, there's all kinds of money-saving ways to do this. However, you can responsibly predict what it will cost you in gas and food to do something. There's several ways to budget for it. We take money like one, two, three dollars, sometimes twenty, sometimes five, and set it aside. Uh, I've met couples before who have saved, you know, two, three paychecks amounts of money and whatever it was that would cost them to go and then that way their bills are covered and they just leave and they leave for like two, three months at a time. They work all year to go for two, three months at a time wherever it is they want to go. That's one way to do it. Um, think about anything that can save you money. If you can save one to two dollars on every bill, think about every bill you have, you can save one to two dollars. Most people have about ten. So if you can save one to two dollars, that's twenty dollars a month, and in a year, how much money do you have? You have twenty four hundred dollars. In a year, you could go someplace. This one just really it smacks the third one that I'm going to cover here. It just smacks the social justice crap that's been going around. And I say crap because I don't, I, I don't have any truck with that. And basically her point is that having a disability, whether physical or mental, can make it incredibly hard to visit new places. Buzzer to the negative. No, I will give it to this writer, okay? The disabilities make it difficult. But I draw the line at incredibly hard. I have asthma. I have um, something that's called sciatica. I have all kinds of things that make traveling hard. It's much easier, I mean, much better for me to stay home than it would be to try and travel and go somewhere. However, what I do instead is figure out how to do that. Like I tr what I try and do is whatever, wherever place I'm going, I just be prepared for it. So I have asthma, so I know what level of whatever it is I can I can handle. I'm not going to the deep desert without a, you know, an inhaler or something that would help me stay cool because if my body overheats, then I have an asthma attack. So I'm not going anywhere unless I can be prepared for it. I have seen, you know, through YouTube, basically, and things like that, people in wheelchairs travel the world. Now, they have people to help them, obviously, but come on, like, <clears throat> I don't think that that's too bad at all. I don't think that that's odd or anything. I think that that's exactly how things are supposed to be. Hi, Brendan, I just got your comment. <laughs> so, to say just because you have a disability you can't is wrong. I don't think you should, I don't think you should, what is the word? I don't think you should tell people that they can't be doing something. Tell them, hey George, how's it going? Maybe you should tell them, hey, this is going to be difficult for you, but I know you can, you can overcome that hurdle. Maybe you should encourage them instead. But I don't think, hey Earl, how's it going? <laughs> I don't think that discouraging people is really the way to go in life. You should be encouraging them. Is somebody in a wheelchair going to be able to travel the world? Yes, they are. Will it cost them more? Maybe. Will, will they have to save longer? Yes, probably. Because they have to take people with them. But can they do it? Of course they can. And I just think this negative, sort of negative Nancy type thing that she's got going on where it's like, well, if you're handicapped, you just can't do it or whatever. And, and don't shame people for it. It's like, you know what, lady, that's just the weirdest thing in the world. One, why would I shame anyone for it? And two, when it comes to traveling, anybody can get to go where they want to go. Now, that being said, yes, it's hard, okay? Um, I have to make decisions about where I would go. So, for example, I said before I have asthma, right? 
I would love to climb Mount Everest. Will I do that? No. <laughs> oh, hey, George. Okay, so this is about travel. I, I've had this thing on my mind for a while, and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. It's about traveling and this article that this lady Shan wrote and I just wanted to get it off my chest because I think people telling other people that they can't travel or or that because you don't have any money you just forget about it you don't think about it at all I think that when it comes to the world you need to be a rugged individualist <laughs> basically and what it comes down to is even if you're disabled you can still travel you can still do it you don't have a lot of money then say and go do it anyway. Do not let people stop you. This world, you, you're only here for so long and you should, en you should enjoy it. You should follow God and get to doing what he wants you to do and you should enjoy it. Like, I don't understand why that's so hard personally. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is basically how some of this travel stuff is going to change. Like, like I said, sometimes you just have to save money to go somewhere. So I will link that article so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Let me do that right quick. Let me see if I can do this in chat. I think I can. Paste. Okay, whoops. <laughs> so that didn't work. But anyway, I will post the link then on Facebook instead. So anyway, so some of this stuff is going to change where I'm using, I'm trying to meld a lot of what I'm already doing into one. So I have like, I have a Christian videos that I make and I have tribal videos that I make and really they go together because like okay how do I say this okay they go together basically because the reason I want to travel is to see God's world and to talk to and to, to bring people the gospel I don't exactly know how to do that but I do know that I want to do it so basically, I just don't know how to say this, like basically what I'm trying to do is I'm an introvert, I love to travel, I love God, I love being creative. So being an introvert and loving God and loving travel and loving the creativity part of everything, basically I just want to put it all under one house. So you might, you're probably going to see more of the God stuff, more of the creativity stuff, more of the introvert stuff along with the travel stuff. Now the videos that I make will still stay separate. I, I have two different accounts for that, so they'll stay separate. But so if you like to travel, subscribe to that one. So you see mainly that. And if you like the God stuff, subscribe to that one. You'll see mainly that. If you like them both, subscribe to both and you can enjoy it all. <laughs> Or just stay tuned here on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you're at, and you'll be able to see it that way. So I'm sorry that this guy, this died on me, guys. Apparently, I cannot write a comment and post at the same time. So I don't know what happened there. I thought you could. Maybe I hit the wrong button. I don't know. I would like to do more of these live sessions. I need to figure out why Facebook cannot see my webcam because this webcam is terribly crappy. So I'm going to try and figure that out. I enjoy interacting with you guys. So I want to do this more. I really enjoy live video in general. So I'm going to try and continue to do this. All right, guys, if there's nothing else, I don't think there's anything else. I just wanted to let you know that was going to change. I wanted to talk a little bit about don't be discouraged if you can't travel the way you want to. Don't be discouraged if you don't have the money yet. And don't be discouraged if you have maybe some problems, some, something that you think might keep you from doing it. Don't get discouraged about that, guys. Just work hard, okay? Do whatever it is you can do. Save the money. Keep the dream alive. And go do it. Get some people around you. You'd be surprised. When I started doing this, it was really just me and my husband, sometimes my brother. But it's really just then. And now all of a sudden it's blossomed into me, my husband, my brother, my friend Cindy, and I think my dad is going to start coming with us and everything. When you start doing this stuff, you start doing something that you just so much enjoy. You'd be surprised how it attracts the people who enjoy doing the same thing and would not mind helping you do it. <laughs> okay. So that's all I'm trying to say, guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Get out there and live life. That's what it's here for. 
love God, love the people around you. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.